The number one method for finding new leads has changed once again. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get 10,000 leads in 10 minutes. So if you want to make passive income, gently tap the like and subscribe buttons and keep watching until the end. Because I promise that this video will contain valuable information you won't find anywhere else. So first, I'm going to give you a really quick walkthrough to show you exactly how everything works. And I'm going to go through step by step to show you exactly how you can get a setup for yourself and get tens of thousands of leads in just 10 minutes. So first of all, we're going to start with an on-form submission. Basically, what that means is we can go ahead and click Execute Workflow. And it's going to bring up a really quick form. We'll just fill it out. And that's going to give it enough information to create a URL. So in the next step, we're going to, I'm going to show you how to do that later. But the next important thing is we're going to create a URL using an LL, a really smart LLM, which is another word for something like ChatGPT, which is going to create the URL, which we're going to send to Appify, which is going to grab, grab us the data or the results that we're looking for. So once we've sent that to Appify, we're going to go ahead and basically check the run status to make sure that it's completed yet. If it's not completed, we'll just constantly check if it's done yet. And once it's done, we're going to grab the results, filter for only the quality leads because we don't want to grab information that's not good for us. And then we're going to compare it to our exi existing database just to make sure we're not duplicating results. We're going to keep the matches that are unique. Then we're going to map it into our Google Sheet. And our Google Sheet is going to basically look like something like this. And I'm going to show you exactly how to get that all set up. It's just going to automatically populate. So now that we're done with the walkthrough, let's go ahead and do the step-by-step -step instructions. So workflow setup instructions. Number one, Appify account and API key. Sign up for an Appify account. Go ahead and click on this link. It's going to bring you to a web website called Appify. Now, Appify is basically a website that has a bunch of different apps. Uh, the app that we're trying to use today is called the Apollo Scraper. It basically just scrapes a database called Apollo for a bunch of leads for businesses. Uh, this is really useful for uh, not only your business, but also if you own an AI agency, that's also what's really useful. So go ahead and either sign up if you haven't already and go ahead and hit go to console. Since I've already signed up, it's going to go ahead and bring me to basically this page. It's just going to show you some, uh, some of the actors that you've already used. Now, actors is basically another word for uh, uh, apps, basically. So these are some of the ones that I've tried out while I was uh, basically testing this out. But we're going to go to Appify Store. We're going to click on Apollo, or we're going to type in Apollo Scraper. And it's going to bring us the best results. And the one that I found works the best is going to be this one right here. Um, this one costs a lot. It's like $30 a month, which is probably not best for you. You probably want to start with something cheaper. So $1 for 1,000 leads. That's absolutely amazing. Because the, all the ones that we've done in the past have been like, 1.2 uh, or 1.5 dollars per thousand so this is definitely even better than what we've, what we've seen in the past so basically once we're here uh we can we can do this manually uh, but the problem with doing it manually is obviously you have to do all this every single time and also uh, once you get the results you have to manually put them into your database so what i've done instead is i went ahead and build the workflow for it already so the workflow is going to go ahead and look like this and i'm going to show you how to set it all up from scratch so first of all we're just going to go ahead and delete everything because we're doing it from scratch so Go ahead and click on these three dots, click on import from file, and you're going to download a file called new appify scraper.json. And once you've done that, go ahead and click open and bang, there it is. Everything is set up for you. So now we're just going to go through that. But by the way, if you haven't had that template, go ahead and go to my school community and then go ahead and click on templates. I'm going to make a post and it's going to have the same title as this YouTube video. Just go ahead and click on that. And then it's going to have all the files here for you to download. So that's extremely easy for you to do. Just get set up in just one minute. It's, it's absolutely amazing. So once you've done that, we're going to find our API token in the account settings. And then we're going to replace the Appify API key in this node right here. Okay. And that's basically going to connect our NNN workflow with Appify so that it, it knows that we're actually able to, we have the authority basically to run and get the leads. So we're going to go ahead and go back over to Appify. And then we're going to go and search for our uh, API key. So in order to get that, we're going to click on settings. Then we're going to click on API and integrations. And here it sets our personal API token and our organizational API token. Now for you, it's probably only going to say personal, but this depends on what kind of account you created, but it doesn't matter. You can use any of them and it'll both work. So go ahead and click on the copy sign over here. This is going to copy it to your clipboard so that we can go back over to NADN. Click on the number one set API key. And this is where we're going to enter our API key. So double click on this, paste, and don't worry about that. I'm going to, I'm going to basically delete it later, but that's going to be our Appify token. So go ahead and hit save. And now our step one is done. Next, we need to do number two, Google Gemini credentials. Go to the Google Gemini chat model mode, and then we're going to basically set our credentials. So 
it's going to be right here. As you can see, it's a red, so it really, it's really, I made this as, as easy as possible for you to follow. So we're going to go ahead and double click this node right here, Google Gemini chat model. And I've already created a credential, so it's automatically going to populate here. But you're going to go ahead and click create new credential. I'm going to link to that tutorial to show you exactly how easy it is. Then we're going to select our model. The model is basically what type of LLM or what type of AI we want to use for it. Obviously, we want to use the smartest one possible. So uh, by the way, this is a Gemini's model. And you can also use ChatGPT's model. If you use, you know, use a different uh, like different node, but I prefer Gemini, so this is why I use Google. So um, the strongest model from Google is going to be Gemini 2.5 Pro right here. So Gemini 2.5 Pro, this is by far the smartest model. It's like number one on almost all the benchmarks. So that's perfect. All right. And then this is all done. We don't need to change any of this. This is all set up for you already. Oh, we'll just follow this on it. Uh, actually, Google Sheets, credentials, and setup. So uh, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to read you all of that. I'm just going to do it for you. So we're going to head and click on get existing leads. And the point here is we're going to need to create our credential if you haven't already. If you have already, it's going to auto populate, which is amazing. I'm going to link to the video on how to do that here. After that, we're going to need to select our document and our sheet. But in order to do that, we need to obviously create it first. So go to Google Sheets and then we're going to create a new document and then create a new sheet, right? So I just basically created a document. I called it Freedom Pipeline. And the name of the sheet is called New Appify Scraper. And I've just created some columns like first name, last name, personal, uh, company name, whatever, right? And to make it super easy, I've actually already created the sheet over here. So you can just open this up and basically copy and paste it over. By the way, I, that's going to be in my school community. So, all right. So once we've done that, then we're going to go ahead and basically go on to the next part, which is where we're going to set our document. So it's going to be from the list. And then we're going to choose... It's going to be called Freedom Pipeline in this case. She's also going to be from the list. We're going to choose, I called it New Appify Scraper. All right. Now that that's, we, we don't need to do all this because we're basically just grabbing the leads from this, uh, this sheet right here. And by the way, just, I just like to make it a habit to just hit save every once in a while so you, have, so you never lose your progress, okay? Next, we're going to do the same thing for the next Google Sheet called Add Lo New Leads to Sheet. So double click on this. As you can see, it is automatically populated. And then we're going to choose the document from the list. It's going to be Freedom Pipeline. And the sheet's going to be called New Appify Scraper. And then our column to match on is going to be the LinkedIn URL because that is going to be the most unique column out of them all. And then that basically means that we're going to send some value. So basically, we're going to grab the references from the input side over into the middle, and that's going to allow us to basically map directly, and which is going to give us the correct output. So um, in order to do this without having to actually do a test to run, I've already done all of that for you. So you can actually just go ahead and input it here. But basically I put the instructions over here, as you can see, this is going to be um, some reference. Basically it's going to grab the information from the previous node that has a reference to the first name, because I've already set that all up in um, this field over here. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on this going to copy this reference here okay and then we're going to go over here and we're going to go ahead and paste it obviously we're going to have to do some updating because this is uh like for example this is going to be for the link linkedin but we don't want to update the linkedin column with the first name right but i'm just doing this because um, it's just a lot faster so go ahead and paste this all in and we're going to go back and adjust it so basically linkedin url is going to be here First name is correct. Then we're going to do last name. We're just going to copy them all over. Now, this is kind of a pain, but uh, the reason why is because you can't actually just hard code it in. Every time you set your sheet, whenever you go to set your sheet, it's actually going to uh, basically reset all of this. I've already tried a bunch and it doesn't actually let you to uh, basically hard code it in, but it's fine. It doesn't take that long to do. So location. And the last thing to remember to do here is actually change it from fixed to expression because if it's fixed, it's literally going to input this text for that column, which is not what we want. We want it to grab the reference over here and then basically, re, uh, basically replace it into here so that the result in our Google Sheet is going to be the correct information. So go ahead and click expression for each of these. All right, expression. Perfect. That's what you want it to look like. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and hit save. 
And then once it's done saving, we can go ahead. Oh, by the way, that was number four. Number five, run the workflow by clicking the orange execute workflow button. Now we're going to watch the magic happen. So go ahead and click this. Now, usually we're going to want to target CEOs because they're the decision maker. They're going to have the most basically influence in order to hire somebody like yourself. So also going to look at number one through 10. Now, this is just the company size. Usually smaller ones are easier to target, have a higher basically rate of working with you. So niche, you're going to enter whatever you want. The, the cool thing about this is it actually uses AI to basically determine your niche. So uh, we can go ahead and click or use real estate. Let's see example. And then country of the United States is usually what I like to target. You can uh, any English country, or even if you speak a different language, you can also target your country like Jordan if you, as well if you want. Number of leads to generate, this would be anything from like one to 1,000 to 10,000. So if you're just testing a salad, go ahead and like use one, that's fine. Um, or 10 actually, a 10 is better, just to give you some more uh, date, uh, sample size. But for, for this example, I'm gonna use 100 to show you what that'll look like and I'll hit submit. All right, form submitted. So basically, as you can see, it went ahead and submitted that form and then it's going to basically look at the API key. So that's going to send it to Appify, make sure that it starts. And then we're going to generate the Appify uh, URL, which is going to allow it to know exactly what type of data that we're looking for. Then, by the way, uh, we're going to use this node. I don't know why it was missing it before, but I just inputted it in. So this is going to be in the uh, in the template that you'll get from my school community. So don't worry about that. Um, basically, this is going to start the scrape from Appify, right? So we're going to send the URL to um, the Appify endpoint to go ahead and start the scraping of those results. After that, we're going to enter this loop right here. The point of this loop is, like I said earlier, we're going to give it some time in order to uh, do the scraping of the data. And then we're going to check the run status, right? But obviously we need to wait for that first. So let's go ahead and wait. All right, so now that it's done, we went ahead and checked the run status. And then it was true because it was done. So basically that means that we can go ahead and scrape the results. As you can see, we scraped a total of 100 items, which was exactly what we said that we wanted to. And then we're going to filter for the quality leads. So by the way, right now I've only set it to something like uh, email status and JSON email. And basically what that means is we're going to make sure that the emails are verified. We don't want any unverified emails. And so it ended up keeping 91 items and discarding nine items, which is absolutely perfect. Now, um, it's, it's saying that we have a problem in there. It's saying that the service is receiving too many requests. Now, this can happen sometimes if you're just basically using it too much. I've been using it too much lately, so that's that's per perfectly fine. But we can go ahead and go ahead and go through uh, this one over here. Just make sure that it finishes out. So we'll hit execute step. Basically, what that'll do is it'll go ahead and finish the workflow. So as you can see, it went ahead and uh, oh, by the way, since this was empty, it doesn't it didn't actually matter. Um, but basically, it went ahead and sent the ninety one items across. Then we're going to keep non matches, and again, since it's empty, uh, it's going to go ahead and keep all of them. So it went ahead and kept the ninety one items. And then it's going to map the fields that I said earlier, like you see, like you see here, it went ahead and mapped all of that perfectly. And then it's going to do all do that for all 91 items. And it went ahead and uh, imported, basically imported the information into the Google Sheet for all 91 items. So I can go ahead and check the Google Sheet here just to make sure that it worked perfectly. And as you can see, it worked absolutely perfectly. So guys, that is exactly how you go ahead and find tens of thousands of leads for your business or for your agency in just 10 minutes. So if you enjoyed that, make sure to go to my school community. Like I said earlier, you're going to find that uh, that spreadsheet and that and and template and, and all of this. And by the way, um, I also do answer every single question in the community tab. So whenever you need help, I go ahead and answer all your questions. So guys, if you enjoyed that, smash the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Have a good one.